各位记者朋友，大家好。Friends from the media, good afternoon. Welcome to today's press conference. I'd like to take your questions. 中新社记者提问。嗯，据了解，东亚。We have learned that the senior officials' meetings on East Asian cooperation will be held in Vietnam, Laos. Can you share the information about the Chinese participants? Laos, the rotating chair of ASEAN, will hold the ASEAN Plus Three senior officials' meeting, East Asia Summit senior officials' meeting, and ASEAN Regional Forum senior officials' meeting from June 7th to 8th in Vietnam. Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Wen Weidong will attend the meetings. During the meetings, they will focus on the theme ASEAN enhancing connectivity and resilience, review the fruits of East Asian cooperation. They will discuss how to grasp the direction of regional cooperation and promote cooperation under different mechanisms, and exchange views on international and regional issues of mutual interest in a bid to prepare for this year's. Leaders' meetings and foreign ministers' meetings. China looks forward to in-depth communication with all sides and striving for new progress in the East Asian cooperation and greater contribution to peace, stability, and common development of the region. Thank you. Next one, please. 谢发言人总裁杨石记者提问。据报道，六月四号，韩国总理韩。We've learned that uh, on June 4th, the Prime Minister of, of uh, ROK Han Duk Su presided over the meeting and uh, decided to suspend the September 19th military agreement until mutual trust between the two Koreas is restored and formulate plan on restoring drill and training in land, sea, and air buffer zone and restore the uh, shelling and regimental maneuver in five kilometers south of. Uh, militarized zone. What's your comment on this? We've noted this. Protecting the stability and peace of Korean Peninsula is in the interest of all relevant parties. Recently, the Korean Peninsula witnesses ongoing tensions and escalating confrontation. China shows concern on this. China has been consistently to safeguarding the peace and stability of the peninsula and support relevant parties to. Re to improve their relations through dialogue, and we hope that relevant parties could exercise common restraint, be prudent in words and deeds, and play a constructive role in safeguarding the peace and stability of the pen, uh, peninsula. Thank you. Next question, please. Tass. U.S. President Biden, in an interview with The Times, said that if there is any military Confrontation in the Taiwan Strait, it does not rule out the possibility of sending troops. Taiwan is an alien part of China, and Taiwan question is purely、uh, China's internal affairs and brooks no external interference. Any threatens will not、uh, shake our commitment and resolve to safeguard the national sovereignty and territorial integrity and our capability to do this. The real status quo of the Taiwan Strait is that the Uh, two sides up over the Taiwan Strait belongs to the one China. Taiwan is an inalienable part of China, and resolving the issue is our own deeds and brooks no external interference. Where the U.S. side could be committed to the one China principle and three joint communiques, and keep its promise to stop. Supporting the Taiwan independent forces and also stop sending any wrong signals to the Taiwan independent separatist forces. Thank you. Next question, please. Good afternoon. A question from Reuters. Lu Taoshe, Wang Wenhao, Shang Wu Minister, now in f r 一些调查，包括对中国对欧的出口加增加关税。On Minister Wang Wenhao's visit to Europe, I'd like to refer you to competent authorities, the Minister of Commerce, and on the、uh, and the relevant policies and tariff of Europe. We believe that the protective、uh, trade is in no one's interest, and we hope that we should be committed to free trade and the commitment to. Openness. If the EU issue any policy and measures that will、uh, infringe on others' interests, will not sit idly by. Will take every measures to protect our own legitimate rights and interests. Thank you. Next question. 
Next one, please. 新华社记者提问：印度第十八届人民院。The results of India's 18th Lok Sabha elections are out. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's BJP and its National Democratic Alliance have won the election. What's China's comment? We noted the results of India's general election and extends congratulations on the victory of the BJP led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the National Democratic Alliance. A sound and stable China-India relationship is in the interest of both countries and conducive to the peace and development in this region and beyond. China stands ready to work with India to act in the fundamental interests of the two countries and the two peoples. Bear in mind the overall interests of our ties. Look to the future and advance bilateral relations on a sound and steady track. Thank you. Next question, please. 谢谢发言人。东方卫视记者提问。那么我们关注到今。Dragon TV. Today is the 53rd World Environment Day. We noted that for some time, some countries have abused protectionist measures, such as increasing tariffs on China's green products, which created obstacles for global low-carbon transition. What's your comment? Today is not only the World Environment Day, but also the Environment Day established by the Environmental Protection Law of China. This year, the theme for China's Environment Day is building a beautiful China in all respects. Under the guidance of Xi Jinping's thought on ecological civilization, China is now seeing a beautiful screw of peaceful coexistence between man and nature unfolding on its land. China has achieved the most rapid improvement in air quality among the world's countries. We are enjoying more blue skies, and China's forest area and forest Stock volume have both been increasing for 40 years, 40 consecutive years. Our land is also greener. In 2023, China's carbon dioxide emissions per unit of GDP dropped by over 35 percent than that of 2012, and installed capacity of renewable energy accounted for 52.9 percent of the total installed capacity in the world. Our green transition is now faster. China has been actively advancing the global green transition and contributing to global environmental and climate governance. Data released by IREA show that the average capital costs of the construction of wind power and solar PV power plants have fallen by more than 60 and 80 percent, respectively, over the past decade, which is largely attributable to China's innovation, manufacturing, and product projects. Earth is the only planet we call home, and needs to be protected by all in the world. What we need is environmental protection, not protectionism against green products. Such protectionism cannot lead us to a greener future. We hope that the international community will work together through cooperation, so that the blue skies, green mountains, and lucid water will be a birthright for our future generations. Next one, please. 印鲍托，你刚才提到了印度总理莫迪成功连任，你认为这一大选是否为中印双方创造了一个机会，来重新推动双边关系发展？中方是否会提出更多的措施，来破冰中印关系，来加强中印关系的发展？中印关系。On relations, our position is consistent and clear. China has always believed that a sound China-India relations are in the interest of both parties, and we also look forward. We also congratulate the re-election of. Prime Minister Modi, and we also hope that the both parties could, on that basis, starting from our fundamental interests, promote the sound development of our bilateral ties. Thank you. Next one, please. 还有其他问题吗？ Any other question? China Daily, the U.S. Department of State issued a statement by Secretary Blinken on the 1989 political disturbance in Beijing. Was China's comment? 
By doing so, the U.S. has seriously interfered in China's internal affairs. This is a deliberate attack on China's system and smear of China's image. China deplores and firmly opposes it. Let me stress that the Chinese government drew a clear conclusion long ago on the political disturbance in the late 1980s. The path of socialism with Chinese characteristics suits the realities of China, reflects the will of the Chinese people, and responds to the call of the times. Enjoys the wholehearted endorsement of all Chinese people and wide recognition of the international community. We will stick to this path and promote our national rejuvenation through Chinese modernization. No one and no force in the world can stop this. We urge the U.S. to immediately correct its mistake, earnestly respect China's sovereignty and development path, act on the U.S. leader's commitment of respecting China's system and not aiming to change China's system, stop inciting ideological confrontation, and stop interfering in China's internal affairs under the pretext of human rights. Next one, please. Any other question? Well, this is the end of today's press conference. Thank you.